Thanks to our new sponsor, Case to Fi, for sponsoring something scary. Uh, I've always wanted a customized case. I went to their website, looked over the many different choices, made my selections. Uh, they come in so many different designs, styles, colors, and I can't wait to see how they turned out. Um, also, a bit of a selling point for me, all cases are made of 50% recycled material. Okay, so here's the cases that I got. Uh, I just, I, I love, I love galaxy colored and I love rainbow. So how could I say, how could I say no to this? See this holographic? I love holographic and it's got a, it's like a light lavender uh, with the rainbow, so. For those of you that have uh, been on the live streams, you know I'm a huge comic book nerd as well. So how could I say no to a comic book inspired case? And of course, last but not least, uh, y'all already know that I absolutely love uh, my skulls. I'm gonna, like Jareth here, for instance. So of course I am going to have a skull case. These are, this is so gorgeous. I like this. It's got a, all these, it's a whole lot of different things wrapped up. Caseify's antimicrobial coating keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. Love that Caseify lets you have the best of both worlds, protection with personality. Plus, I enjoy that they work with independent artists and designers. It's wonderful how lovely these designs came out. Caseify cases are slim and protective. Their impact cases are engineered with a two-layer construction of Chi-Tech and drop test approved for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet. Much more protective than some cheaper alternatives you find on Amazon. Go to www.casetify.com slash snarl today to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. Hey, I'm Marquia. Wanna hear something scary? Death in the headlights. A new job and a new car are rites of passage for most teenagers. But for some, these symbols of freedom may actually trap you inside your worst nightmare. When I was 16, my dad bought me my first car. It was an old beat-up Honda with 150,000 miles on it that his friend Jack Delaney sold him for next to nothing. A crappy car for others, maybe, but it meant freedom to me. I'd started my first waitressing job in town and often worked late nights. The car meant my parents no longer had to chauffeur me around. After a long shift one evening, I got into the Honda and headed home. The roads were still fairly busy despite the hour. Then something caught my eye in the rearview mirror. Sitting in the back seat was a teenager around my age with electric red hair. She was looking out the window entranced by the passing headlights. My hands were frozen around the steering wheel, eyes back on the road. When I glanced into the mirror again, she was gone. I floored it home, parked the car, and immediately ran inside to tell my dad what I had seen. He went straight out and checked the car. He brushed it off as a figment of my imagination. Late night driving can do that, he said. I went to bed that night more curious than scared. Perhaps my dad was right, and it was all in my head. But the next night, it happened again, same as before. She seemed to like the passing headlights and was sad when the road was empty. We never spoke a word. The next few journeys were the same. I can't explain why, but I wasn't scared. It was like she just came with the car, and that's when it hit me. There was a way to find out more about my mysterious passenger. The following morning, I drove to Mr. Delaney's house. He was in his garage when I pulled up, and as soon as he saw the Honda, his mouth dropped open and his hands began to shake. I parked and thanked him for giving my dad such a great deal, then asked why he had sold it for so little. Yes, it was old, but it still ran really well. He stammered a while, but then told me about his daughter, Rosaline. 
how she had started hearing strange voices and seemed to be losing her mind. One night, she had taken the Honda without his permission and gotten into a terrible accident. She was killed instantly, yet apart from the windshield she had ended up flying through, the vehicle had been unscathed. However, after it was fixed, seeing it parked in the driveway day after day was too painful. He was happy to be rid of it. I left the Delaney's, not any closer to figuring out how Rosaline was connected to the car, but thought her dad must be exaggerating about losing her mind. That night, I was driving around running errands for my parents when she appeared again. This time, I spoke as passing headlights faded out of sight. Rosaline, why do you stare at the headlights? Were they the last thing you saw? She looked over at me, startled, as if noticing me for the first time. She made direct eye contact, and in a soft voice, she replied, Yes, they're also the last thing that you'll see. Suddenly, she lunged over the seat, grabbing onto the steering wheel, and in a flash, I saw headlights coming straight towards us. I wrestled the wheel out of her hands, plunging us headfirst into a nearby tree. I shakenly got out of the car. There was smoke everywhere. The front had been caved in, the windshield shattered, and I had cuts all over my face and body. Everything hurt. I looked in the back seat, and thankfully, she was gone. As I slowly walked away from the totaled Honda and back to the street in the sound of sirens, I thought about Rosaline. I hoped she would find peace now, wherever she was. Two weeks later, a brand new mini SUV appeared in the drive. The exact car I told my dad I'd always wanted. He tossed me the keys so I could take it for a spin. As I was making turns around the block, blaring the radio, checking out all the new dials and gadgets, I looked in the rearview mirror and it was empty. I felt a huge relief. That was until I looked at the passenger seat. It was Rosaline. She didn't say a word, just sat looking out the window, staring at the cars passing by. I love trying out new brands of underwear. Lately, I've wanted underwear that would be comfort meets style, but it seems like I could only get one or the other, but not both in one. Finally, someone has taken the time to design underwear that looks good and is comfortable at the same time. I'm really looking forward to getting my order of Tomboy X, specifically my Witch's Brew Print Boy Shorts. They also glow in the dark. Tomboy X created underwear that looks like it doesn't just fit me, it kits me. Since 2014, Tomboy X has been making brazenly unapologetic underwear for all bodies, shapes, genders, and sizes. Really, all sizes. They pay attention to every detail, like no back seams for a wedgie-free experience, and super comfy, silky smooth waistbands that never roll down. From boxer briefs to bikinis, boy shorts to bras, every pair of Tomboy X is created to fit you and how you see yourself. And they've expanded beyond underwear too. Discover your inner Tomboy and let me get you started with my special discount. Go to TomboyX.com and enter code something scary to get an extra 20% off. That's an extra 20% off when you enter something scary at TomboyX.com. TomboyX.com. Restrictions apply. See site for details. I don't know about you, but I found that the people around me can make a huge impact on my life. And when life's pressures cause those relationships to change or to have problems, sometimes it's hard to know where to turn for help. I don't like to have issues with family or friends, but when I do, it's great to have a neutral person to talk to. That's why I enjoy Talkspace. With Talkspace, I know that my conversations are 100% private. It's not like when you talk to one friend, they might tell another friend, or you tell a family member, they discuss your problems with another family member, and that is important and comforting to me. I wholeheartedly recommend therapy, and Talkspace is a great option for you to try. And Talkspace is a fraction of the cost of in-person therapy. You can sign up online and could possibly start therapy the same day. Text, video, or send voice messages to your licensed therapist. It's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions from the comfort of your home. These are just a few reasons why working with a therapist to finally prioritize my mental health has truly changed my life for the better across the board. 
If you need a little support to help you through the end of the year or want to start building towards a better upcoming year, Talkspace is here to help. Match with a licensed therapist when you go to Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month with the promo code something scary. That's $100 off when you use code something scary at Talkspace.com. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at something scary at snarl.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings. Sweet dreams.